So here's a little hack when it comes to new roofs. When there's a very simple roof line, just a A side and a B side, you know, it just looks like this. There's no real valleys or anything. Sometimes you can just order the metal to fit side A and side B, and you can just screw an R panel roofing panel right over the top of the existing composition shingle roof, and you can have a metal roof look in little to no time, super inexpensive, and all you need is just a ridge cap to go over the two pieces, you know, right down the center, and you're done. It looks great, it'll last forever, and here's a tip when you're putting metal panels on top of your roof. You'll want to get a certain kind of screw that I've had a lot of luck with. When I don't get this screw, I have problems within four or five years, maybe six years. There are two different kinds of screws that you use to screw the metal into the wood or over the top of composition shingles. One is the screw with a washer, with a rubber washer underneath it. And as the screw gets tight, the rubber washer expands out and it pushes out past the metal washer. Now, the sun bakes that rubber and causes splits in that rubber. And then those cracks seem to run eventually underneath the washer and all the way to the edge. The kind of screw that I suggest that you buy is called a dome screw. It has the multi-sided screw head with a dome with a washer that fits up into that dome and the washer actually sticks below the dome until you start pressing down and the screw starts going into the wood. And then the washer starts getting crimped into the dome and it starts to expand and fill up the dome and the sun doesn't hit that rubber that's inside that dome that's compressed tight so that it won't leak. And I suggest that you buy those dome screws. They're a little more expensive, but you will probably not have to replace them for decades. And that's my roof hack, but wait, there's more.